Hello everyone and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. Today we are going to go over part two of Proc SG Plot on histograms. If you missed the first part of this series, we went over bar charts and the link for that video will be in the description below. So our agenda for today is going to be all about histograms using Proc SG Plot. So let's go ahead and get started. So when would you actually want to use a histograms? Histograms are ideal when you are trying to find the distribution of a continuous numeric variable. This could be something as height, age, IQ, blood pressure, anything that is continuous and numeric in nature. Histograms are also great if you want to see potential outliers. I prefer box plots, but histograms can also do the trick. So the basic syntax of PROC SG plot, when we're trying to do a histogram, we're going to do PROC SG plot. We're going to have the data equal to the data sets. And then we're going to have the key statement histogram. And then we're going to have the variable name of what we want to create a histogram for. In this example here, you can see that I'm using the CARS data set. And I want to create an histogram of the manufacturer suggested retail price. So just like any other visual in SGPlot, there are options. There are things that you can change about your histogram. You can group your histogram based off of another categorical variable. You can tell it the number of bins, and we're going to show how the visual changes based off of the number of bins. You can also change the bend width, the transparency of the histogram, and there's also many more options. I highly recommend that you look at the SAS documentation for histograms in SGPlot. Okay, so here is our basic histogram with no options. This was the example that I just shown on the previous slide. I'm looking at a histogram of the manufacturer suggested retail price. Notice the default Y is percent and not frequency. That is not really intuitive for histograms. Most of the time you would want your Y axis to be frequency and not percent. So I'm going to show you on the next slide how we can change that. So if we want to change it from percent to frequency, we can use this scale equals count. This is an option available to us. Notice that all options come after this forward slash here, okay? So now our histogram, we see count on the y-axis versus percent. And this can tell us a lot about the manufacturer's suggested retail price for a car. It looks like there may be one car that's worth a lot in our data set. But on average, it looks like most of the cars is going to be worth less than $50,000 when it's in our data. I can also group a histogram by adding another categorical variable with the group option. So in this case, I have two options now. One is going to change the Y axis to frequency. The other one is going to change the colors based off of a categorical variable. So in this case, Asia is denoted by blue, Europe is red, and the United States is by green. So I can see that this outlier here is a European car. It is denoted by red. I can also change the number of bins of my histograms. The lower bins, my histograms look a lot more fatter. Here with my 20 bins, it looks kind of in the middle. And here with my increased bins, it looks a little bit smaller, okay? So you can play around with the bin size to kind of figure out how you would want your histogram to look. If I wanted to change it to 20 bins, here's the code down here, I would do the number of bins equal to 20, okay? Outside of just looking at the histogram, I can also add in a density curve. So here I'm adding in a normal distribution curve, and I can tell that my data is not normally distributed. It is skewed, right? 
But if I wanted to add in this density curve, I also have the option where I'm gonna put density and I'm gonna put the same variable that I put in my little histogram statement, okay? So let's actually take a look at this in SAS Studio and just code one up. So now that we're in the SAS Studio interface on demand for academics, if you do not have access to this interface, I walk you through about how to gain free access to this interface in my first video. So I'm just going to expand my libraries on the left-hand side, and I'm going to look for that SAS Help Library, and inside this library, I have the CARS data set. So I'm just going to double-click on that. This tells me all the columns, so keep in mind we want to make a histogram. So I'm looking for continuous numeric variables but I'm also looking for categorical variables that I can group my histogram by if I so choose. So let's go back to this first program and let's type up a histogram. So I'm gonna do proc sgplot and we're gonna do data. The data set is in our SAS help library with the CARS data set. We are gonna do histogram and I think I want to do a histogram this time of horsepower. So I am just going to put horsepower here and I'm going to run this. And here I get a nice distribution of horsepower. It doesn't really look normally distributed that much. I see that I have a few cars that are very high in horsepower and I have about one car that is very low in horsepower. Since I don't want the percent to be on the y-axis, let's go ahead and change that. Let's add an option. So any option is gonna follow a forward slash, and I'm gonna do the scale option and count. And then let's change the number of bins to about, let's say 25 bins. And I'm gonna run this. In here, I see that the y-axis has changed to count, and I see that my histogram added up more bins to my visual as well. So go ahead and play around with proc sgplot, making your histogram. There are tons of options that you can also do. So that is it for our tutorial in sgplot. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll look forward to teaching you in the next lesson. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Thank you.